Here I'm going to discuss about a serious problem that we all face while attending CSIRG Senate exam, which I faced while I was a student and preparing for CSIRG Senate exam, particularly for very first and second time. No matter how much I prepare, no matter how much you practice the questions in home, but still in the exam hall, we find it difficult to finish that of a lengthy question within three hour time span. That's a, one of the biggest problem not to qualify CS Senate exam, time management. So if you still have this problem, which, which is really curseful, then this video is just for you. Because in this video, I'm going to share you three such tips, which is going to help you to save more than 15 to 20 minutes of your two to three hour time span in CSI GC net exam. So if you want to know those tips, stay tuned and watch the lecture completely. is that most of the time uh, we stuck to answer all the questions because we keep our expectations too much for every single question. Remember that CSIR asks questions from every single discipline. Thus, it means we are not be able to answer every single question with the same expertise that we already have. Because maybe some student is from zoology, some from botany, some from human physiology. So we all have our questions. So we need to answer the questions which we are expert about. So obviously, try to do this. Do not feel obliged to answer every single question from every single discipline because you cannot master all the 13 disciplines and topics that they ask questions from. So it's always better, based on your preparation, go directly into those questions for which you have prepared the CSINET exam. For example, in CSINET exam, literally the whole life science syllabus is there. But let's say you are a student from biotechnology, so you have probably prepared cell biology, molecular biology, microbiology, immunology very well. You have prepared uh, these topics very well compared to the other topics like developmental biology or evolution or ecology. If you fail in those parts, so obviously while you are attending the exam, your target will be to answer the question from cell biology, molecular biology, immunology, biochemistry, because that is your strong zone. So remember that always, instead of reading the question from A to Z, particularly for part C, where it consumes a lot of time about reading a question, comprehending a question, and then answering the question correctly. So what you should do for part C is that do not read every single question from the start to the end because it will be a consumption of time. So what you need to do, you need to build a habit of reading questions fast and this habit should grow before the CSINET exam while you're practicing at home. And what you should do is simply look at the question, you still have time before CSINET exam, so check the question of last year's CSINET and find out in part C, you just browse through that question very fast and try to think about whether that question is asked from the topic that you prepared or not. Let's say you're reading a question and somehow you can see, let's say a question from the photosynthesis, C3, C4 and CAM plants, so the difference between these plants. And you found out a term known as carbon dioxide compensation point. Now, you probably haven't heard that earlier. So what is this compensation point? If you don't know about the compensation point and if you see this word is there in the question, you should know that this question is not for you because you haven't prepared that topic and you should immediately leave that question and go to the next question. That way we can jump through the question quite fast. And believe me, although in this process, maybe some questions you leave whether you can answer, but still at the end of the day, you get a lot of time in your hand to devote to those questions and question to those topics which you have prepared correct way. Okay, so keep that in your mind while you're preparing and answering the question in CSINET exam. Tip number two, another big mistakes that we all do while attending the questions in CSINET exam is uh, we give too much time to part A as well as part B because you know biology students you need to take grant that we are not good at mathematics and particularly those questions in part A always frighten us. So what we do, we, we still go to attend these questions and even if we attain those questions, then there are some attention bait questions. Those questions will keep you into that question for more than five, six minutes. Now, if you attain one question of part A and B for more than five, six minutes, there is definitely something wrong with your preparation and you cannot answer that question for sure. So remember, do not head on to a question for more than two to three minutes. It's like a football game. The more you keep the ball, you have more chance of losing it. So better is that whenever the ball is in your leg, either you hit a goal or give it to someone else or pass it. That's what you should go. Follow the soccer rule here and either you goal it 
or pass it that's what you need to do and you need to decide really fast because the more time you think about it more complicated is going to get and more time you're going to consume and time is running out so do not try to do that so always keep in mind for part a and part b questions all the questions in part a all the questions in part b keep 25 minutes maximum so part a 25 minutes part b 25 minutes not more than that let's say you're answering part b questions and you only answer 10 questions 25 minutes are gone Part C still remain to be answered. If situations like that arise, you should not devote much time in part B anymore. You directly go to the part C because keep part C for two hours. Believe me, if you are good at part C, you should score 100 out of 100 in part C. And to do that, you need to score well and you need to give more time to part C. Because if you devote more time to part C question, there will be some question that you can still answer if you devote more time. But if you devote more time to part B questions or A questions, nothing will come up because literally if you don't know about the question in part b you cannot answer it no matter how time you devote but in case of part c you can devote more time to get more answer so invest more time in part c and do not keep more than 25 minutes for part a and part b questions that will save 10 minutes of your time directly and that 10 minutes should be kept always for the end time of CSI net exam just like any exam always our teachers are ta taught us that at least five to ten minutes you should keep at the end of the exam to check whether everything is fine whether OMR is properly filled or not and all these things because these are some technical issues that many students do they fill the OMR in the in the wrong way they fill wrong options and, and things like that happen and the rush hour so you can fix it if anything goes wrong for the last ten minutes that you have in your hand so keep that in your mind as well and the last but tip number three is the most important how do you find the questions that you prepared how do you know which questions will be from your topic of preparation and actually if you study csi net question papers for last five to six years you'll find out that for every single question there is a range of questions let's say a biochemistry question in part c given always from 71 to 76 77 that range so there is always a range uh, to ask questions from every single unit so you can directly go into that part of the unit and directly start solving the question from that for example you prepared unit number 8 9 10 very well so instead of starting from biochemistry you directly want to go into the question of 8 9 and 10 so what you should do which question number starting from unit number 8 questions for that I'm going to share you a table and if you remember that table this number starts with every single unit maybe this vary with time to time with different exam but it will vary by one two two three questions at max but still you can go directly to the unit that you prepared well to answer question fast so check that table so that you get to know exactly which questions to answer fast based on your preparation schedule so hopefully you get benefit from this video because I've shared all the information that can save time more than 20 minutes for CSI net exam. And saving 20 more minutes in CSI net exam means you can answer three to four more group sequestration. That means you can have this room of answering and getting 14 to 16 marks of questions correctly. And that can improve your score, not only the time management, but also help in, in increasing your score and increase the chance for you to qualify CSI net JRF. So if you like this video, please hit the like button, share this video with your friends and subscribe to my channel to get more and more videos like that and all the very best for the CSI net exam and see you later with a new video. Thank you. Bye.